What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at one of the new, uh, well, it's not a couple days old now, uh, Saw 574. I've been working on this my last two videos. Still got another two or three videos to go on this. I had made a, uh, I tried to make my own uh, panorama like I'd done in the past. It just didn't turn out too good. And uh, when I was going through this, I had already, I've already seen the main blocks on this because there's a really good black and white picture that I did a couple days back. But you missed a lot of this actual detail that you got from the mask cam. Um, something here that either looks like a tool or a bird or something. Now, I've, I've heard it called a couple different things from my subscribers who have sent these over. It does look like a shadow of a bird. Like it's got a, it's sitting there. It's got a head right here and it comes down. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool and interesting, and that's right under this uh, spot right here. And if you look at it on the black and white picture, it's hard to make out. You can see a little thing there, but it doesn't have uh, – it's like a straight line. It's hard to explain it, but uh, I, if you want to go back and look at one of my videos a couple back, and you can actually check it out and see. See, it was a little bit further back. The rover's actually moved up now to see it. Um, and that's not the only thing that could possibly be biological in here. Now, I'm thinking if it is something like a bird, it's probably been fossilized or something along those lines, um, totally dried out. But as I was going through here, this is the, uh, the picture. See, if you've noticed this area now, it's, it's totally amazing. You've got these curved blocks and stuff. It just looks like building that had an earthquake or something came in like a planet, totally destroyed everything, shook the whole place up like crazy, and everything came down. And this is what you've got is just this rubble that's left. Um, if you watched the last video that I did, not this last last, but the one before, I showed you a little bit of this because it's in one of the other frames. Um, we'll take a quick look at that again. Um, as we're going to roll through this picture, I'm not going to take my time here. I'm not going to, uh, well, I'm gonna, since we've already done a lot of this, I'm going to not go over some of it, but um, hit all the little things that I think are pretty cool that look like, uh, you know, something that was either out of the ordinary or an anomaly. Right off the bat, you've got these huge slabs that look like they're uh, part of a foundation or something along that line. And I say that, uh, and this could have been made absolutely, could have been totally made, uh, you know, by water stuff like that, but the 90 degree angles and wind and water, I just don't see them making, especially when they come together like this and they've got other blocks laying on top of it of, of uh, that look like they're out of somewhere like Pumapunku. This piece right here looks like it could go into there just fine. Now, I'm not saying that it has to because I think when this thing shook out, it went crazy. Now, the other big piece I wanted to take a look at was this right here, not a big piece, but this looks like another biological entity or something right here. Okay, you got it's pink. First off, this is the color it comes from the rover, and let me show you where I got it from, just so you can see that I'm not, uh, you know, people aren't used to my work, don't come here. I see what I see, you see what you see, and most likely we're not going to agree on what we see, but it's interesting to take a look and see what you think. See, here's the actual picture, so I'm not joshing you. You know, I didn't add anything to the picture. The picture's right there. Let me get a little bigger on here, and all. Oh, Always, I always link the link. You don't have to type this in. Just go to the description, click the link. You're going to be right here. So here we go. This thing right here to me seemed like it was. And we're going to go ahead and do some auto color just like we did on the last one. And maybe uh, just an auto tone. Yeah, change a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's bring it in tight. And it looks like whatever it is, it's got a tail. It's got a body or a head or something there. Maybe even that's just the head or part of it. But it's sitting on it's in something almost like a little tray or something i'm lost for words here I, I haven't seen rocks that come out like little pigtails like this i haven't seen uh really anything other than living something like a uh, bush maybe roots something along those lines something that was alive at one time you know not just on a barren dead red planet that has nothing on it you know wink wink to everybody who <laughs> watches my videos this is number what 177, I think, in the uh, maybe in the Mars videos that I've done. But really, I've done a lot more than that if you consider all the other ones that I did. But check that. I mean, what do you guys think about that? Does that look biological to you, or does it look like something that was left there, maybe a piece of something? Uh, let me go ahead and let me step backwards here, step backwards again, and uh, just maybe take a look. See, there's just so much they hide here, and, and I've gone over. This almost seems like they've got these little uh, heads. I see one right here, 
one right here. It's almost like they've put these in. There's another one right here into it, like they've been carved into some of these pieces. Now there's something here, like a looks like almost like a tool. Let me see if I can't pull these out. But look at the color. I mean, that's the color that comes directly from the NASA rover, and it's put. This wasn't there when we first got there, and I think as we've gotten towards all these artifacts, they've had to do something because it's been getting very, very uh, blatant that something else is going on here on the on the you know on Mars. So the, even the people who just happen to stop by and see this stuff, they're really starting to say, well, what, what in the world is that? So as you see, as I as I crank it up here, um, check it out. See them here, and I mean, we look for faces anyway in what we do. Our eyes, we're, we're trained to see faces just from evolution. If, if you, well, either way, we're trained to see whatever you believe or don't believe. I don't want to get into any arguments about that kind of stuff. I don't do religion here on the channel. Sorry if that's something you enjoy, but I don't let people argue about it. I try to keep, <laughs> try to keep that stuff out of it. Um, okay, here we go. I mean, but see the uh, how the, the, the stuff seems to go from one thing to the next, and it almost has like little uh, shapes and stuff in it. And that's really nothing compared to this overall picture. So let me back out all the way and show you some more of it. Oh, one more thing down here. Let me show you this right here. This looks like another little biological entity. This actually looks like a little rat or something that's there. But let me see if we can't pull it out with the color. Image. Oh, you look cute in that hoodie. I just sent Kim a uh, <laughs> a picture I was showing her. My <laughs> I had a cute hoodie on. Apparently, look at me. I must be giddy. Anytime you meet someone new, I swear you get giddy over it. All right, here we go. Auto tune. Let me see if I can pull that out. No, nah, let me back up a tad and then see if we can't get it with the brightness. Because this definitely looks like it's another little something, either biological, but it has a tail or something there, and it could be just you know something here but I don't understand what all these little long shaped pieces that are straight it almost looks like twigs and stuff like that so I mean that's just you know I see what I see you see what you see um, we've talked about it before in some of my other videos that what people do believe I get so many different subscribers people think that there's life on Mars still uh, that it's just very very small whether it's you know this big this big this big and maybe even that big and who's to say that it's not you know, what if there was at one time just perfect civilization like here on Earth, a huge one, a small one, who knows what they could have had. We've had all sorts of different sized animals here on Earth, people. This rock here looks seems to be cut into. But these are the ones, this one right here is one of my favorite cuts I've, I've seen. And it definitely looks cut and smoothed on over. Goes down to a perfect cut down there and it smooths back over there. You can see if you really want to zoom into it tight, you can see it. And it's surrounded by this stuff like this. This is another interesting piece. Looks like a head of something or like a statue head with another here that's buried. And a lot of this stuff is just buried in the sand. You can see the symmetry even in the small blocks. That's what gets me. It's like it's everywhere. It's like, come on, NASA. When are you guys going to come forward and say, hey, look, you know what? Maybe this is a junkyard we found or, you know, maybe there is life. I know they're stuck to the Brooking Institute. It's such a shame that something so long ago has really uh, – kept us in the dark for so long about probably what a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know and uh i think we could handle maybe maybe some of us could you know that's just going to be part of life so let's see all right all this stuff i covered in a couple videos over this stuff because i i got about here the other picture takes you to about here but look at this big thing here that big old uh what is that? It's as bright as can be in the picture. I'm going to back that back off there in a second and see what that actually is, if it stays that bright. But uh, let me pull it back and see if there's anything up here we really want to take a look at. Um, okay, yeah, up here on this. This piece right here has been blurred. And I, and you can tell it's been blurred because you just look at it. It was something at one time. See how they've used a the blur effect on it? I say this all the time, but you can honestly see it. It's got a background to it. It goes up and down. I love somebody like Olympus Sky to get a hold of that and see if he can't pull this out some. He's really good with some of these uh, the tools, the burn tools and stuff like that. Stuff that he showed me how to do it. I just I let them do it. He's good at it. So I, I bring the pictures. I just want to bring you guys the pictures, get you collecting, and then uh, turn you and start making some videos. You know, start doing some stuff. That's we've got so many people who have started making videos just from watching mine. It like blows my mind. 
And uh, it's cool because now, like I said, there's so much of us finding stuff. They can only say, oh, you know, only so long they can deny it. I mean, we're really getting in their face, you know. We've got people that are emailing them all the time. <laughs> and uh, if you see it's blurred out, you can just tell it's blurred. You see it. It doesn't, you know, you don't get the right over this big thing right here. It looks like it should be some sort of uh, face or something. It, it gets blurred out. And you'll see once again, once I step backwards, that um, it doesn't. And it's pretty obvious even when you come back to here it's like even though this part's really blurry up here that's really blurry i mean it looks like it would just wipe straight out so whatever it was it was interesting and we weren't allowed to see it so that's your tax dollars here in america working for us we're not allowed to see anything that are everything that's cool you know and when i look at this right here and i on earth i try and take pictures oh i take pictures a lot i go to mountains we've got all sorts of interesting stuff around where I live. I live in Maryland on the, on the beach in Maryland, like right by the beach, and I can get to mountains, I can get all over the place in just a short period of time. It doesn't take long to get out to uh, Shenandoah, the Skyline Drive, um, and I can take pictures, and I can only get this look to it. And when I add that color, that brown color, and when I'm taking pictures of things that are like twigs and stuff like that, or, or leaves, and you get that roughage look to it. When it's just dirt and rock, it, I don't I don't really get this look to it that we get. Um, and the more and more I look at it, this looks to be more and more ornate than uh, what meets the eye. When you blow it up, of course, it starts getting that effect, you know, it starts getting that blur effect to it, but you can see the uh, rocks all have things that connect to each other. It's almost like they're doing, it's like machines and stuff on the ground here. The, this here is circle, looks almost like a gear or something like that. Uh, and you guys just might see a bunch of random rocks. Now I see perfect spheres and things like that. Also right here was an interesting piece. Let me see if I can't get that to pull up. Um, let's see. Actually, you know, let me get this whole little little shindig right here because that's got this piece right here and it looks like it's got a drill hole through it another hole drilled through it right here um, some more box things here over here there's some more boxy things let's see if we can't do an auto contrast or auto color see if we can't play with it a little bit there you go that's what I'm talking about now let me get some of this exposure look at the colors it gives it so I mean I, that's not coming from my computer that's coming directly from the rover the colors and uh I know that NASA probably argue that they're just image artifacts, you know, something along those lines, but they're in there. It's definitely obscuring things because when you have all that in there, it just blends stuff up because you keep, you know, you follow one thing here, comes around, goes down, but look at it. It blurs off what's up here, this red piece. The coloring just does that. That sure does look like a drill hole, a drill hole, and this here looks like a piece of some sort of box or something that was here at one time. Um possibly ornate and then when you see how all this stuff looks how blended it looks until you start actually moving some of the stuff around and adding the uh, changing the color changing the, the contrast and stuff like that it's pretty cool now I think that was pretty much all the major little things that I noticed on here that I wanted to pull out um, I know you guys will find more and more this here is a little interesting thing I never even noticed that let's see if there's anything uh, that we can do with with that it was another thing it looks like a perfect sphere goes up here goes up here comes down and then just blurred out right here whatever this white thing right here was blurred out and I've also like I said when I told what I've been told about these little aliens is that they're they're white as can be like very 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 white like they almost look like ghosts in the pictures and if you're looking if you find that you'll see them um, especially if you bring down the gamma or you bring down the the brightness a lot but it's hard to see already. This looks like a little doll or something along those lines. Or a little guy resting. So this would be basically okay. So this would be what they're saying. The little aliens look like they're white. Here would be the eyeballs, the mouth, the nose, and it's just kind of resting there. And let me see if I can actually make it look like one. And I probably, like I said, if you watch my videos, I go a little far. I see what I see. You see what you see. But anything I do here is speculation. He like said. Uh, that's just, I, I, I'm no scientist. That's not what I do. I'm an IT, I'm, I'm in the field of an image. I'm an IT director for a health company. I, I do, I've been looking at these pictures. I am an image analyst. I can tell about fraud. Uh, I can look at documents and tell if they've been you know, forged, stuff like that. Pretty cool, whatever that little thing is. It looks like a little doll. 
But that's what people say. Uh, you know, somebody's gonna say that's a little napping alien. That's what I'm pretty sure that's what they've been trying to tell me. That these are the little things that they think are the aliens. And there's a whole bunch of people out there to believe that. So it's not just a couple. You know, I get these emails from a lot of different people. And uh, people that are not, you know, just your ordinary whack job, doctors, couple lawyers, uh, you know, Dr. W sent me over some amazing things. He comes in spurts and he'll send stuff over a uh, whole bunch for a while, then he'll slow down. It's like uh, as the rover gets good, he'll start sending stuff over. Uh, let's go back here one more time, take a little gander at that one rock that I love. This is it right here, and it just looks like it's the perfect carving for something. And uh, it goes all the way to the end here. It wasn't broken anywhere. It looks like it wasn't chipped like these were. See how these seem to be? Look at that. It almost looks like a cut through it here and there. Like it actually had a machine cut on it. And that, for some reason, just looks like some sort of head to something that's just, just been busted out. Some sort of statue on the... That's what it looks like to me. So you guys see anything else? Let's go back and take one more quick little look at our birdie. And, uh, which I think, I don't think said, I don't think it's a bird. I don't know if it's a bird, but it looks like it could have been uh, maybe what the life was there. Maybe when whatever happened to Mars, some of it just freeze dried up or something like that. Or just pretty much, I don't know. You never know. Like I said, it, it, I hope that this thing is out on Mars because I get so many people that email me every day too to say that thing's not on Mars. You shouldn't, uh, you know, you're being tricked. But I asked, I think it's on Mars. I believe it's on Mars. Let's see here. We've got pictures. Well, they could all be fake too because they're coming from America's satellites. But anyway, guys, what do you think? What are you thinking about this one? Do you guys think that this stuff is just uh, regular old rocks, sedimentary rocks? Something had to have a lot of water here to create this. And either way, this had to be like a straight ocean or something. It looks like some coral. Interesting white rock right there. There would have been that little rat little guy. Um, and I missed the one little thing again. This was one of my favorite rocks too. It looks like it's got a little circle in it. Comes off, comes out. It just looks shaped up perfectly, if you ask me. At least it looks, seems to be. And everything, okay, what was this? That was the one piece we looked at. There it is right here. One more time. Let's take one more look at this little thing. I'm going to do the same thing I just did to that. Um, image, auto color. Let me do the uh, auto contrast. This one to me with the little squiggly line, that kind of screams more to me like alive, you know, slimy. <laughs> it looks kind of creepy and slimy. This is interesting, almost like a cut tub or basin or something. Who knows how this could have been. If you look at some of the stuff in Egypt that was pretty, like the how water would flow through some of these uh, pipes and things like that up there, it was all done, a lot of it in this wood, or not in wood, in, this, uh, in the rock. And uh, same thing, I, I believe, down in, uh, you know, Peru, all over the place, they use these type of building techniques. But all sorts of good stuff in here, you guys. Add this one to your collection. Here's the step-down piece. Like I said, if you haven't seen my other video, you got about half, a lot of, about half of this was on the other one. Let's see if I can't just uh, make this one look just a little bit better with the color. There's that three spears right there that I just to say they boggled my mind what this stuff is. You know, and like I said, I'm looking at it through my Earth mentality. Um, you know, so we're skewed to what we see here on Earth. All right, guys, check out my website. It's What's Up in the Sky 37. My name is Will. What's Up in the Sky .com. Yeah, that's my website. My, you know what I mean. It's been a long one. I love you guys. Take it easy. 18 minutes in. Peace.